Welcome everybody. It's a full moon, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are in tune to some vibrations, whether they are harsh and torturing, or if the moon is sort of helping you, I don't know, let go of some things in your life, you know? I've been thinking a lot about life, and I always try to make the moon work for me, though it doesn't usually work like that. I don't know, it's just one... For years, it was just one long night. A lot of people have those sort of snake rides in their life, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of people have some bad snake rides, and, you know, it's... I have been... I've been really trying to... I've been... Look, when I get down... When I get down bad, I think that the first thing I think to myself is bad thoughts are Satan. And I'm not talking I'm, I'm not talking about freaking suicidal thought. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking any anything negative. We're not talking about anything extreme here. We're just talking about regular regular run of the mill suffering. But a lot of us have all of us without exception have been conditioned to be in that negative state. I mean, I, I wish there were a better word than negative, or even Satan. Well, there are, because there's a lot of words that have been poisoned. So I, that's the first thing I think to myself is that it's a it's a it's a duty. If you're ruminating on something, or allowing thoughts to be intensified in your mind, if if it slows you down, what I I mean negative. It's not. I mean anything that slows you down. Anything that robs you of your energy any anything that robs you of your 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 thinking your thinking energy that is Watiko. and i and i think now i look if i when i was a when i was a, a single man i could be i could think all the insanity i wanted to you get slowed down by insa insanity too but now things are kind of different and there are certain duties one must adhere to in order to live a good life and be prepared for the afterlife. What's the point of being on this earth? What's the point? Well, I know there are many points. There are many reasons why you're here. But what's next? And I read something real good. I really, really needed it. Fear of death distresses a man with a guilty conscience. But the man with a good witness within himself longs for death as for life. Count no man truly wise who, because of this temporal life, enslaves his mind to timidity and fear. Is that attributed to Isaac the Syrian? And you see, that's that's an important thing. You could you could think about the color of your skin, or your your sex organs, sure. Or you could think of that. It's not relative. One weighs more than the other. Now do you understand? And I think about these things. It's Watiko, yeah, Ted, yeah. I think about these things when I'm ever, uh, I don't know, angry or annoyed or in a bad mood. Those things, even if they're small, will, they aggregate or, or they iterate, I guess. It's like compound interest when it comes to, uh, destructive feelings. And, you know, you, you put on anime, you put on TV, you put on music, you put on movies and everybody is embracing their anger, embracing their dark side, you know? You know, there's a, re there's a reason the archetypes and the anti-heroes that you're in a, a, abused with your whole life. What do you think it's for? You think it's just because it's interesting? No. So I've been thinking a lot. There's a lot more things that are going on in my life, and so I, I have some time to... And I've been, I've been reading a lot of the Bible, so that's going to point you in the right direction. No, I, I hear you, Baldander. It's not good to have insane energy around babies, even if you're not talking to them about it. You have to watch what you even have on your face. Yes, I know. I know. You don't think they can tell if you've got a fucking sour face? You don't think they can tell? If, you've, if you're radiating fucking rage or, or some, something else? Who knows? You don't, think, you don't think that's going to affect them? I ha I, you know, I, I mean, it's, I mean, your babies, I mean, anyone around you. You can't, you can't, you can't maintain that sort of unprocessed energy around very receptive people, especially family. You can't have that. You can't be freaking, you got a maniac, you got a death, you got a fright mask on your face. You can't do that. 
You can't do that. So, you know, there's a lot of these things. It's a nice opportunity to really get in, uh, get in touch with, with uh, certain certain things and locked into your in your soul that that kind of that bring you down. And the, of course, there's too much attention to to that instead of the things that bring you up. You get you get magnetized badly, badly magnetized. In that, it co- you collect. You collect the dust. You collect. You collect the dust. Re- if you don't, if you don't renew yourself and shake off the dust, then you don't even know it's there anymore. You become Pigpen from uh, Jazz Brown. It's fucking awesome. I, th- I literally, it's freaking awesome. Conditioning through torture to become destroyed is. Exquisite, exquisite Cenobite training. Just like everything you get your whole life is to blur the lines between pain and pleasure, to make you de- to to force to make you derive pleasure from pain. Super soldier school. What do you think it is? You think it's nothing? Anyway, there's no sense really knowing about that. That's why you don't take anything personal. Don't take anything personally. We've all been slowly blasted all throughout our lives. The only goal there is, is to heal yourself, live your best life, get the fuck out of here. Not come back. Do not be separated from, from the creator when you die. That's the only point there is in this life. That's why everything is a snare. Hunters that are great in the eyes of God. Is God the the one creator? There are there are more there are many gods around this this planet here. Okay, there are a handful of gods in the pantheon of all of our civilizations. To Sumer, to Babylon, to wherever, to to right now. So when I hear the word God, that doesn't to me that doesn't resonate as the one creator of existence. It doesn't mean the same thing to me. God does not mean the same thing as the one creator of existence. God, it it does not mean the same to me. They're different things. Anyway, I don't know if you can improve your life with that knowledge. You can, but you just have to be pretty, pretty wild. You have to have anything on the table. You have to have anything on the table. What better time to laugh about it than when there is a full moon? So good. Mapson, I'm feeling very, very good. Very good. I feel a little bit of a <coughs> high anxiety, I guess you could say. But it, it usually happens during the full moon times, before and after. Um, that's just my experience. This is my experience with it. The moon has really, sort of... Really, really used force. Used force on me. The moon uses force. And if you're not prepared, and you're not working with it, then you get you get driven into the ground. But I think it means that I need to because it is the right way. Because the right way of doing things often brings a lot of suffering in the short term, but in the long term, it brings it, it brings uh, brings structure, it brings structure, it brings something. Full moon. Uh, oh, that's, that's good advice, Steel. Any full moon, you should go outside at least for a few moments to receive some of the light. That's really, really good advice, man. That's really good advice. I did that a couple years ago. I was out there looking at it. I'm, I'm sure that was around the time it was driving me into a little bit of a state. But it was interesting. Full moon woke you up to how unconscious unconscious you've been lately, Terry? Yeah, I, the, the moon is really what is going to boot you in the ass, man. It's going to boot you in the ass. And it, you don't have you don't have a say in it. It's going to happen no matter what. You get you get destroyed by it. So, if you guys don't have your eyes and your souls and your your third eye, if you don't have all those things open to the moon, then you're gonna feel you're gonna feel bad and you're gonna blame yourself. Everything is blamed on you when it goes wrong. So don't blame yourself. Wow, well, look, we're all responsible. That's 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 the problem. That's free will, right? Free will, origi- working with original sin, right? You're contending against forces that are unseen, that are forcing you into a corral, that are corralling you. It's sort of all all uh, progress. It sort of all starts with 
one forgiving themselves for being susceptible to unseen machines. I think it all begins with that. It's the guilt of being destroyed without knowing it. Because it's, that's, it's gonna, there, there's gonna be a toll for that. There's gonna be a big toll. And I, and I think a lot of time, I think, you know, I think through the years, I think right now, I always, I, I try to do a constructive service on here in that I'm not looking to infect anybody with any, with any sort of spiritual diseases that I might be harboring, knowing or unknowing. First, my first uh, directive there is to do no harm. I kind of think a lot about those things because you, you don't want to you don't want to spread anything bad. And the majority of people out there they're spreading their disease. I mean, we all get that disease put in us. It's, it's the 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 quest is whether not not even whether the majority of people can can overcome that sort of impediment, but whether they can even see it, whether they go their entire lives without even knowing that it's there. And that is, now that's terror. That's terror. That is God technology. That is God technology. The pinnacle of military deployment approaches the formless. Sun Tzu, it seems like you understand what I'm saying. The formless. <sighs> it's crazy, man. It's, it's a really good example. It's such an example. I can't even believe that example, it's very frightening. If you only knew. But I think about it. I think about some of the times we've been on here, we've sort of taken it to taken it to a really high level. And you know me, I don't regret anything, <laughs> you know. But I'm saying, I, I sometimes think, I said, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, I get older. I get better. I know what I know. And I get better. And you have to be better. You have to get, keep getting better. How can I provide a better example on how to avoid the the tormentors? You know, there's some things happen in, that happened in my life that I wouldn't have been able to handle before. You know, some thing, you know, some things in life. Had I continued on, I would have g gotten killed or uh, would have died. You know. So I look at the things happening in their right time. I kind of go with the flow a little bit in that I don't resist my own ego or I try to not torture myself. You get tortured enough. You cannot be the taskmaster of torturing yourself. You cannot do that because that is an end game operation to condition people to be their own jailers. That's an end game Opticon uh, campaign. And it's inevitable. Sure, it's inevitable. It's coming no matter what. You can hopefully Get your soul clean. So you're even uh, remotely worthy to even have a, a, a creator's eyes upon you or your, uh, the creator's attention. How could you seek or hide from the creator's attention if you have stains on your soul? How? It's, it's stupid. It's stupid to do that. It's stupid. It's stupid to treat a super intelligence callously as just some, some, like another human being. How do you get the stains out, Spencer? Is to not repeat the thoughts or deeds or whatever that stained your soul in the first place. Redemption, ransom, Sacrifice depends your definition, depends your understanding of the definitions. Many words, ransom, sacrifice, redemption, reminders, reminders, they are reminders. Bootski, formless warfare is really fun because if you point it out, everyone calls you a schizo. Well, Bootski, that is the warfare. Being called a schizo for pointing it out is the warfare that's formless. But it's not formless, is it? Because you just pointed it out. Do you understand? How to get rid of undesired thoughts, Club? Is to replace them with correct thoughts. Replace them with correction. Corrections. Correction. Corrections. Correction. Corrections. Correction. Correction. 
correction. That's it. That's redemption. 